How's the shot on that one? That one, it looks, this one's better than that one, honestly, but. Uh, questions. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Zarek here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the uh, the video that me and Arden did where we went to the desert, and we made a 27 minute long video or something like that of us just exploring and screwing around in the desert, and it was awesome. We decided that as my first video of the summer and the first video that I'm back posting on the channel, we'd just talk about the desert experience. We have a couple questions that we're gonna answer to the best of our ability. We're gonna take turns answering just in case the we have the same answer so it doesn't seem like either he's stealing all mine or I'm stealing all his or whatever. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below. If you haven't seen the desert experience video, what are you doing with your life? Go watch it. There's a little snippet right there or you can click the link down below and you can watch the full desert experience project. It was amazing. We had a ton of fun recording it and I really recommend anyone who hasn't watched it do so. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You want evens or odds? I'll do evens. Cool. He's answering evens first. So uh, question number one, what was your favorite location you visited out of all the locations in the salt or the desert? Personally for me, my favorite location was the, the Salton Sea Beach, just everything about it. It was one of our first locations, the one where we uh, walked down the abandoned streets and looked at all the houses and the just trash in them. I just thought it was really cool to see all these things that the people left that have lived there before and try to think about like the past, their past lives, what they might have done, what might have caused them to leave. And the view of the Salton Sea was incredible. We uh, originally only went to the one location, I think it's Salton City, for the last visit. And we saw a really skewed perception of the sea, which is really trash filled and dirty and just disgusting. But the view at the Salton Sea Beach was amazing. So, how about you? I guess my favorite uh, location that we visited on that trip was just the entire Salton Sea to see how it's kind of like a gem hidden in the desert. Yeah. Alrighty, gang. Number two. What was your least favorite or the least interesting part of the trip? <laughs> what? I'm doing even. Yeah, you. Oh, are you, are you want to read them too? Uh, okay, what, fine. <laughs> um, I guess my least favorite part of the trip was uh, forgetting the battery for my camera at home and having to use my backup camera instead of my... That's a pretty depressing part of the trip. What about you? Personally, I feel like my least favorite part of the trip was Bombay Beach. I felt like it was really tourist oriented and it was kind of different from the rest of our trip which we kind of spent exploring on our own and seeing like things that most people wouldn't necessarily go to. Like how many people who are going there for a trip would go through the ho homes of people who, uh, who just left or abandoned their things? Not many people would and that was like really cool to me. Whereas the Bombay Beach, like the car, what's it called, the drive-in theater wasn't really as interesting, it was kind of really, it was like the same every time I guess, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. All right. well, not many people would go through pe people's houses because that's trespassing. <laughs> well I mean, yeah, but it's for the sake of the video, and I'm sure any law enforcement which asked us to exit the home would understand, right guys? Anyways. Number three, what part of the experience had the greatest impact or effect on you, or like changed you? And I'm gonna go with my same answer as number one, the uh, walking through the homes of Salt and Sea Beach and just seeing all these things that people left behind and looking through the lives of like all these people had a really immense impact on me. Like, I guess I kind of realized how these people our people as well and they had all their things like books and TVs and electronics and all these things that we have normally. They're just a lot older and not being used anymore. And I thought it was really changing like to, I don't know why it was changing but it just like changed me like I wasn't the same that day after we did that. It was just really moving to see all those things. How about you? I guess uh, the part that like had the 
Mm. The greatest impact on me it was the same part as what Zach said, like going through the houses and looking at all the stuff that people left behind. Uh, yeah. yeah, go for it. I'll go for it. Um, what do you think? Oh wait, no, that's okay. Um, you can just what was the, the biggest challenge of the trip, and how did we oh. overcome it? Um, I guess the biggest challenge was avoiding all the checkpoints around the Salton City or the Salton Sea area, mm -hmm. especially to the east of it. <laughs> and that kind of limited where we could go without being Yeah. Caught. Yeah, I without definitely agree with him. It was really stressful trying to figure out how to plan a row and we had to cut back on a lot of places we wanted to go to. For example, we wanted to go to Slab City and see that kind of area of it and Salvation Mountain. Those are some really cool areas that we didn't get to see, but I don't know. I just wish we could have planned differently, but that's okay. We still had a great time, right? Yep. Alright, um... Seven. Seven, yeah. What do you want the audience to know about the sea or the region? Well, I actually did a report on partially on the Salton Sea. One thing that I wrote was, or I compared it to the American Dust Bowl and how back in the 1930s, all this dust due to poor farming habits and all just evaded the atmosphere. I have to censor that. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just like went into the atmosphere and caused this huge dust bowl which killed so, like tons of people and caused dust pneumonia and all these other terrible ailments. And the same thing is happening in the Salton Sea today. It's obviously for different reasons. It's due to, for one, lack of care for the region, lack of outflow for the water, or like new water coming in. And then like, no one seems like, farmers just let all their go right into the sea and they don't really care about it. They just say, oh, it'll go in the sea. It'll just sit there for a while. But no, because the sea level is changing. If you look at a graph, I'll put a graph somewhere on the screen, you could see the Salton Sea's water level has been going down steadily, which means when the water goes down, all the stuff that's under the water is going to come into the atmosphere. And there's a lot of stuff in there that's toxic. We saw, I remember, I don't remember if it's in the video or not, but we saw iodine, we saw chemicals, we saw car cleaning things. All these things that are toxic are going to go into our atmosphere. And all this dust that's under there is going to go into it too. And it's going to cause this huge dust bowl like storm that's going to go or affect the entire Imperial and San Diego County regions. And that's going to kill a lot of people. We're seeing the same thing happen in Kazakhstan right now, or it did happen in the past. And the Aral Sea, and it took 15 years off the lifespan of people, which is not something we want, especially in. San Diego where millions of people live and that would just be terrible. How about you? <laughs> um, kind of what Zach said, basically people don't really care enough about the Salton Sea and we need more people to start caring about it because okay. eventually if it dries up all the all the chemicals and all the minerals that are at the bottom of the sea will eventually just get picked up by the wind and carried down south to where we live and some of those chemicals and minerals have uh, might have negative effects on some might might bring along like certain health issues Tell you. Oh, okay. um, if you had to do the trip differently what would you change um, I guess for our next trip, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of going overnight and doing star photos Which by the awesome. Salton Sea. What do you think? Well, for one, I would have definitely wanted to leave earlier, although yeah. we did leave like 5 o'clock in the morning. We did get delayed at Vons, and that took 30 minutes off our time, and we didn't really calculate very well how much time we'd spend in each of the areas. So I feel like it would have been really nice to have more time to do things and explore. Like maybe we could have even done the calcite mine hike. But more abandoned buildings and exploring more of the cities. That was like the highlight of my trip. And I'm pretty sure you did the highlight of your trip too. And it would have been really nice to explore more of those homes and 
more cities and see more of that part of the Salton Sea, like the abandoned side of it. But, well, we're gonna have more trips, so we'll be able to do that. Uh, one more thing, I forgot what it was. Uh, number four. Oh no, I had, I had the one more part for that one. I just thought it'd be really nice to see Slab City as well. And if I had to do it differently, I think I would have tried my best to figure out a way to get to Slab City. I mean, there are routes, but they're all really risky. But, I don't know, it would have been really neat to see it, I think. Yeah. Anyways, the last and final question, which is kind of tying into number eight. What do you think the central focus for trip three will be? And my answer is that I feel like we should try to explore more off the trail for one. Like, instead of going the routes, like following the roads that everyone else takes or the paths that everyone else takes, we should like explore on our own and kind of just go to the places that no one would think to go to on a trip to the Salton Sea. Like, just walking around in the desert. I mean, that would provide for some awesome photo shoots for one. And I feel like it would be a lot more fun to explore off the trail. Mm -hmm. And then my other part was to uh, interact more, like get to understand the culture of the people that live there and try to interact with some more of the citizens and try to talk to them about their reasons for staying there or what Salton Sea means to them or what they want viewers to know about the Salton Sea. Because there's a lot of stories of people who live in the area that no one's going to ever understand because no one seems to care much about the area. They just say, oh, it's dead, it's deserted. But people who live there have stories, they have reasons for living there. And I think it would be really interesting to learn more about those things. You? Um, I guess the center focus for trip three should be kind of what Zach said, exploring more of the Salton Sea and not going to the, like, kind of the tourist traps. Yeah and exploring more of the like not so well-known areas of the Salton Sea. Is that it? Yeah, that's about it. Well, trip three is going to come this summer, guys. Coming so. soon to a YouTube channel named Zarek. <laughs> Make soon. sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you haven't nice. watched, <laughs> if you haven't watched the Dead Experience video, Please do so, you won't regret it. We had a ton of fun making it, had a ton of fun watching it. I watched it like four times over again. And there's gonna be a link down below where you can help or learn more about the Salton Sea and what you can do to try to conserve it or try to help the area. I recommend you click that. You don't have to donate or even read much if you want. Just clicking it and looking at the link will help a lot. And maybe you can learn a little bit more about the Salton Sea that we aren't able to tell you on the camera. I appreciate you watching this. If you enjoy, like I said, leave a like. If you want to see other videos this summer, we're going to have a ton of videos coming, a ton of opportunities to make videos. So make sure you let us know what you want to see. And, uh, ready for trip three, dude? Yeah, of course, dude. It's going to be lit. That was terrible, but it's going to be lit. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's all for this interview. Stay classy. <laughs> <Bless> you. <laughs>